taken from the streets. For a vast number of Syrians, this is the last time they'll be seen by anyone. Whatever the government of Bashar al-Assad considers an offence, protest or combat, the punishment is often torture or execution. Amnesty International says it has found the reason why up to 13,000 Syrians arrested and taken to Saidnaya prison have disappeared with no word of their fate. It says once or twice a week, up to 50 prisoners would face a deadly routine. Prisoners are called upon, taken from their cells, told that they are going to be transferred to another civilian detention center. But instead of that, they are transported to another building on the grounds of Sidnaya prison, huddled into an underground room, and then they are hanged. And they are only told that they will be, um, that they are sentenced to death a few minutes before the noose is actually tied around their neck. And Amnesty says thousands of more prisoners have died because of torture. This free Syrian army fighter served two years and 20 days in the prison. He's now living in Jarablus and told Al Jazeera that the hunger and pain from the torture were the main killers. You can see bones were broken from my feet to my head like everyone else I was with. Here's an example. My fingers and my hands were smashed. There was no medical treatment. We had to fix things ourselves. Sometimes because of the torture we witnessed and experienced, we all felt we would sooner die alongside our fellow prisoners. What Ahmed experienced and witnessed, scenes too gruesome to describe, appear to be all too common in Saidnaya prison. Amnesty International describes it as a human slaughterhouse and it's calling for immediate action by the International Criminal Court. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Gaziantep in Turkey.